How to upload and buy Solona NFTs on OpenSea. Easy tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get the Solona network on OpenSea and how you can buy NFTs that are on the Solona network and sell your NFTs on the Solona network as well because everyone is selling their NFTs on the Ethereum mainnet and that is super overcrowded. It is super saturated. A better strategy might be to make your NFTs a bit more exclusive with Solona. So that is why we are going to be taking a look at this. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to head on over to OpenSea.io and you're going to log on to your account. If you don't have one, you just have to connect your Ethereum wallet and you will be ready to go. Now, once you have done that, you can click on Explore on the top right over here. It's super easy to browse the NFTs that are on the Solona network. You can click on Solona NFTs over here and now you will be on the Solona market. So, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and now you can view all of the Solona NFTs that are on this network and you can also go into the explore section over here you can click on all NFTs and then you can scroll on the side and sort them by a specific way as well so you can click on category or you're going to click on chains over here on the left of your screen and then you're going to click on Solona and now you will only be displayed the NFTs that are on the Solona network so that is how simple and easy it is to browse on the OpenSea marketplace for for specific NFT marketplaces or chains. So these are all NFTs that are on the Solona network. They are all available. Their prices are all in Solona and you can go on ahead and buy and sell in Solona. And you can see a lot of popular, a lot of even popular collections are going on ahead and boarding and switching their collections and making, you know, sub collections on the Solona network as well because it is such a profitable way to make money because a lot of people are done with Ethereum. You know, some people expect the price of Ethereum to not be as stable. Maybe Solona is the next Ethereum. So that is why it is essential to widen your horizons you know to make sure you have a broad portfolio and create nfts in multiple different auctions and platforms so you can see there are so many original nfts as well as well as nfts that have migrated from the ethereum mainnet so what you're going to do is you can just go on ahead and buy any nft you want so pick out any nft that you like you're going to click on buy now and then you're going to choose your Solona network so you will have to select a provider let's say we're going to go with phantom and then you're going to click on download, download the Phantom extension. You're going to click on Chrome over here. And then you're just going to download the Phantom wallet. If you don't already have the Phantom wallet, then you can just simply create one in the way that I am creating it. And it will be created just like create a new wallet. And then you're just going to enter a password. You're going to click on continue. You're going to make sure that you have your recovery phrase. So make sure that you are saving this recovery phrase somewhere. It's very essential that you have this recovery phrase on hand. Once you have done that, you're just going to click on continue over here. And then you're going to have continue. You're going to click on finish. And once you have done that, your Solona wallet, your Phantom wallet has been created. Now you can go on ahead, click on Phantom over here. And you're just going to connect this wallet on your OpenSea account. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on log out over here and then you're going to click on phantom and then you're going to use your phantom wallet over here. So what you're just going to do is you're going to log in via your phantom wallet. We already have phantom over here. So we're just going to wait for OpenSea to refresh to recognize our wallet over here. And we're going to click on phantom. We're going to click on connect over here. And now your bridge has been completed. So you're going to click on accept and sign. You're going to click on approve over here. And once your Solana network wallet has been created and you have connected it to your OpenSea and logged out from your MetaMask or, your from, or from whatever Ethereum mainnet wallet that you were previously using, you can go on ahead and purchase the NFTs. So we're going to go into their Solana NFTs. We're just going to go into all NFTs over here. We're going to scroll down, click on chains, click on Solona over here. And then you're just going to choose the NFT that you want to purchase. So let's say you want to purchase this NFT. You're going to click on it. You're going to click on buy now or make a offer. You can make a specific offer. We'll see the price of the NFT properties, all of the details as you would on any Ethereum mainnet NFT. You're going to click on buy now over here. 
you're going to click on complete purchase then you're just going to connect in your solana wallet address will be added and then you will have your funds as well as the gas fees and then you can go on ahead and deposit that money into your solana wallet or you know you probably already have money in the solana wallet before you go on ahead and make your purchase so that is how easy it is to buy on the solana network if you want to create a nft on the solana network all you have to do is click on create on the uh, open c platform so we have our solana network connected over here so remember that we are currently on the account that has our account our wallet is the solona network wallet so you're going to click on create over here click on the image open any image that you want to upload as the nft so let's say i want to upload this then you're going to add all of the item description and then you're going to scroll down you're going to add a description then you're going to add the collection so if it's from a specific collection you can add that and then you're going to choose the blockchain this is where you're actually going to be uh, customizing so what you're going to do is instead of uh, selecting the ethereum or the ethereum or polygon network you're just going to click on solona and then your nft would be created so you do need to make sure that you are on the solona network before you do that because you can't exactly create a solona nft without having your solona a wallet connected as well and you do have to you know bridge your funds and then you can log into multiple accounts so you can see i have both of my nft crypto wallets created and linked on my google chrome account and i can switch between my accounts as well so if i click on over here and click on the wallet over here i can switch my wallet i can go from the phantom wallet to the metamask wallet and then i can purchase the nfts on the network that i want to buy them from so that is going to be one simple way that you can go on ahead and browse with nfts and create multiple different nfts on any platform of your choice and all you have to do is you have to just sign this little item and then you can go on ahead and choose the uh, blockchain of your choice and go on ahead and browse and purchase on the blockchain of your choice so it's super simple and easy and not only can you do this with solona but you can see if you take a look at the chains that are currently present on OpenSea, you also have ethereum you have polygon and you have clayton so you have three blockchains available on the network on the OpenSea platform and it is going to be a very sufficient way for you to be able to diversify your nft portfolio because instead of selling your nfts on a singular blockchain you can sell them on multiple ones and this will give you access to a vital customer base a wider audience and it will also give you access to more nfts that you want to purchase maybe you are finding that the prices on the ethereum mainnet are super high because even though you might be buying similar kind of art you might be able to find it for a lot cheaper than you would on the ethereum mainnet instead of the solana one so this will give you the option to get you know gorgeous looking original nfts that have a lot of value that are super desirable for a much lower price nfts like these nfts like these so let's take a look and like let's say we take a look at the ape nfts so you can see we have the board ape nfts over here and this one is selling for around 473 usd let's take a look at the ethereum mainnet comparison so if we open up the board ape nfts over here now if we take a look at the board ape nfts let's take a look at something that is a little similar and that is on the ethereum mainnet now you can see all of these nfts have already been sold there are very less that are available for sale as well and that is why it is so essential that you diversify your portfolio and you can see let's say that we want to click on buy now and now you can see there are very few that are available for sale and you can see if we take a look at the pricing over here it's around the same for a ethereum nft as well for this specific nft but you can see you have super limited options instead of the solona marketplace or the solona network where you have multiple different uh, board ape nfts available so it's going to give you access to more desirable nfts as well so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and I I will catch you guys in the next video.